last, the last chapter, I mean the last uh, scripture. It's in Acts 10. I want to read this right here. Now these people here in Acts 10, now that's the Jews. These people in Acts 10 is the Gentile Cornelius that received the Holy Ghost. That's 10 and 44. Now let me read 10 and 44 to you. It's the last scripture. 10 and 44. It say like this. While Peter yet spoke these words, the Holy Ghost fell on all of them which heard the word. Do you see it's very important to hear me preach? Or whoever else God bring up here. Because when you keep hearing about the Holy Ghost, you got to understand eventually you got to, you gonna be by yourself. You're gonna think you're gonna think about what pastors say or whoever else gonna be preaching. And you're gonna say, Lord, I gotta make a choice. Even you children, even you young people, you're gonna have to make a choice. Because either you're going to serve God, and if you don't serve, that means you rejected Him. But you ain't going to be in no in-between. It ain't no in-between the street. Uh -uh. So Cornelius, this is a Gentile, he came to Peter, and he was like, Peter, come on, give it to us. It said, and they, and they of the circumcised, which was the Jewish people, which believed and astonished as many as came with poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. And they heard them speak in tongue and magnify God. These Jews were saying, man, these folks, now I know that God gave us the promise, which is the Jews, but this Gentile got the Holy Ghost? Cornelius was saying, I, I, I try to do everything with the, with the Jewish people I have, you know, gave to them and stuff, and God didn't forget Cornelius. He told, he sent an angel and said, Cornelius, I'm going to fill your house with the Holy Ghost. And you're a Gentile. And the Jews didn't believe it. They thought the, the Holy Ghost was just for the Jews. But it was for all. He said he gave, he gave the Holy Ghost to all, Jews and Gentiles. It said, for they heard, this is the Jews, they heard the Gentiles. Them speak with tongues and magnify God. Then answer Peter. Can any man forbid water? Peter ready to baptize these folks. That these should not be baptized, which have received the Holy Ghost. As well as we. He asked the question. Now who's going to try to stop me from baptizing these people? Because they receive the Holy Ghost just like us. Yeah. Which am I giving y'all to the conclusion of this? Don't y'all get hung up on these TV people on there talking about central they, they, they uh, CDs and all they doing on TV is constantly teaching and you never see the demonstration of the power of God. You never hear nobody get up and say, I had cancer in my church and God healed me. My baby was blind and now she's sick. Very few churches that you see that's really talking about that. Come on, somebody. Yeah. The majority of church, all they're doing is talking about teaching. But God said, I didn't come and let you just preach. I come to give you power. It's time for us to be packing. Amen. Peter said, I'm going to baptize these people. Because not only these Gentiles got... They ain't only got the Holy Ghost. They got it where they speaking in tongues. Who gonna forbid me? Now down in Jerusalem, they gonna have to deal with that because they didn't believe them. The Gentiles supposed to have the Holy Ghost. So they, they had to go back in the level and had to go talk to them because they really didn't believe them. The Gentiles supposed to have the Holy Ghost. Y'all think that we gonna let people up in here gang banging, cracking, <coughs> running women, Homonging, adultery, fornicating. And you think, I ain't going to tell them they need the Holy Ghost. I'm just going to say, come on in and get saved and sit down. Now let me tell y'all something. You can't, everybody say you can't make nobody get the Holy Ghost. Okay. So pastor, one day when I stand before God, God going to look at me and say, okay, but you didn't tell them they need the Holy Ghost. It's say when Peter and them heard I'm sorry, when the Gentiles heard people, they received what? So if I'm telling you that this morning, you are hearing what I say, right? I can't give it to you. If I could, I stand all y'all in line this morning. And I saw giving it to you. Because I love y'all just that much, but I can't do it. 
You're going to have to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And I'm going to tell you how you receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. You got to want it. And you got to stop your ways. When I got the Holy Ghost, I was all the way live. I was out there in the street. I was doing my thing. I was doing my thing in the street. I was out there all the way lying. I didn't come the way of no missionary and all that kind of stuff. I didn't have all that. I, I wouldn't. I, no. Uh -uh. No. I was out there. I was smoking dope. I was drinking. I, I mean, I was doing my thing. And But when I heard this man talk about Jesus, I was 19 years old now. It's been a long time. 19. I still had game in me. I still had time to play the game of life. I was young. Come on, somebody. Stand to your feet, y'all. I was young. I still had some game. I still had some play. I wasn't, you know, and even I was pregnant also. About six months pregnant. But when I had that baby, I still could have came back. I came back my little shape and everything. I could have came back and had my little baby and still played the game. But Jesus saved me and filled me with the Holy Ghost because when I was in that church, I didn't know that I was going to be such a soul and God had plans for my life. Because even when I was in the world, y'all know what? I had a love. I, I'm not lying. When I was thrown off, I still had a love for people though. I, I, I couldn't tell you that I, I really tried to help everybody, but I, I had a love. I was the type of person that I see a girl finna be set up. I, I just couldn't let her be set up. I'm just that kind of person. I go say, you know, come on, go go with me. I just have to take her, you know, because I know she's gonna be set up. And he's like, no, I got it, I'm gonna take us and now she's gonna go with me. Because God knew my heart. He knew that he could use me for the king. If there's anybody in here that you know that you need the gift of the Holy Ghost, 